At Methods, we've got a very strong vision in local government. It's to help councils take advantage of the amazing power of the internet by streaming a lot of back-end services pretty much as if they were Netflix movies to enable us to deliver fantastic uh, user-based services at the front line. Uh, in 2016, the council were receiving about 32,000 calls a month and we were uh, processing about 7% of our transactions online and that wasn't where we needed to be. Uh, we, were, we were working in traditionally expensive channels. We needed to find a partner who could help us with that. Um, we, we went out to the market and we picked Jardu on the basis of um, they could come in, they could deliver us a, a, a platform uh, quickly and they could work with us in the months and years ahead to achieve those ambitions. Ambitions our council cabinet set us were to get 85% of our transactions online. I think citizens these days have an approach to they, they need to do what they need to do when they need to do it. Uh, and gone are the traditional times when people wanted to engage with councils between the hours of nine to five. So, so, so we, need to, we need to be there to work with citizens when they're ready. Swindon, we've been helping uh, council uh, leverage their recent investment in Jardu CXM to deliver pretty much a digital concierge service, which enables them to share and reuse workflows, uh, forms and other assets uh, right across the council, a little bit like um, interoperable Lego bricks, really, uh, to enable them to deliver uh, far more flexible, reusable and user-centred uh, services using an agile approach. We've, we've gone live with our citizen portal running on Jardu CXM and we've had a, around 20,000 houses uh, take up already um, and that's in the first couple of weeks. We've delivered 11,500 green waste subscriptions in the first couple of weeks. We've got a great iterative development process working with our internal team supported by the Jardu colleagues and we've, uh, we've, we've made about 40 cases live in the, in the first month. Swindon's been a very traditional council and as such we've probably not had the skills to, to take us from where we were to a, a digital, highly efficient, modern council. Um, methods, of, we chose methods working in partnership with Jardu and they've come in and they've helped us with some of that vision, they've helped us understand the art of the possible and they've helped us structure some of the planning and help us design our, our first phases of moving our organisation to be that digital ready organisation. So what we do with Jardu is we help organisations exploit their investment and accelerate their digital transformation. It enables people to understand where they should spend their time and attention quickly and to get value immediately out of the product. So we're able to bring our expertise of the local government sector, our practical know-how about how you build processes, how you design optimum ways of engaging with the public and deliver all of that on the Jardu platform. So we're, we're at the start of a programme now, we're, we're a few months in, and we're, we've got a lot of work to do over the next two years, and we've not got the, the capability or the capacity to do that on our own. Methods are our partners of choice to help us along that journey and to turn Swindon into a, an efficient, effective, uh, re really great council to deliver those services for our citizens and help us, if you like, take the efficiencies out of our, our more traditional uh, engagement channels so that we can we can protect those services for our vulnerable adults and children. I think some of the work we've done with Jardu and Methods has, has cr created us a platform where we can spring forward into some of those spaces. So I'm looking forward to the next year and the next couple of years where we can really bring artificial intelligence, automation, some robotics into, into delivering services for citizens. The outcome is, is high quality services that deliver real savings for local authorities. It's the ability to meet those raised customer expectations by delivering digital services which enable people to access them and use them 24-7 uh, whilst reducing the cost of doing it, removing the friction from delivering services to the public.